What is a car cabin air filter and an AQI sensor? And why do you need it in your car? We're going to be talking about these two bits of technology and why they're so important in today's day and age when you look at air pollution in general. With Delhi air pollution going through the roof and crossing an AQI uh, level of 500 plus, your eyes must be burning, your lungs are feeling it, and it's your car that will actually come in handy and make life easy for you. My name is Vikram Gore, you're watching Motoscribes, and in this video, we're going to be talking about cabin air filters and an AQI sensor as the tech that you need to know about. The first bit of tech we're going to talk about is the car cabin air filter. This little bit of tech is connected to the HVAC system in your car, which is your heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. And uh, the unit sits uh, right uh, within that system and it ensures that the outside air gets nicely filtered and uh, does not let uh, particulate matter, especially the hazardous 2.5 ppm version, get inside the cabin. It's either made of engineering cotton or uh, the higher end version is made out of activated charcoal. So both these elements, they work to cut out uh, particulate matter and ensure that your cabin air remains nice and fresh. It sounds simple, but a lot of work has gone into it. A lot of manufacturers have worked hard at it to ensure that uh, they're able to control in-cabin air uh, quality and give you a healthy breathing environment while on board inside your vehicle. The next bit of tech on board is the AQI sensor. So as the name suggests, it is a little sensor that reads the outside air quality in real time. So it's constantly monitoring uh, what the air quality level is and accordingly uh, triggering the climatronic unit inside the vehicle to ensure that uh, filtration is happening at the right time and is keeping that air quality on board nice and fresh. It takes care of uh, PPM, it measures uh, hazardous uh, uh, air quality, it takes care of toxins that might be in the air and it knows uh, how to read all these elements in real time and ensure that the system on board uh, activates at the right time to not let any of this come from the outside inside the cabin. So if you're looking at buying a new car, I strongly suggest you look for a car that does come with the uh, uh, AQI uh, sensor on board as well as the ability to purify the cabin uh, with a cabin air filter. Having said that, uh, the list of cars that you could look at are the Hyundai Creta top model, the Hyundai Alcazar, the Hyundai Tucson, you've got uh, the Kia Karens, you've got the Mercedes EQS, as well as all the other high-end cars from Mercedes. So these are some of the top-end versions out there that you can look at. Obviously, uh, they, this is new tech. It is stuff that's coming out in top-end versions. But hopefully, as we move forward, we'll see more and more cars coming with uh, these filters uh, and uh, sensors fitted into them. As we move towards electric, uh, does it still make sense to have it? Yes, because cars are not the only source of air pollution out there. Uh, we do know about uh, Delhi's air quality getting triggered by uh, burning farms and Diwali crackers, all of which is trying to be controlled, but we're still a while away from bringing the AQI naturally down to healthy levels. Currently, Delhi is at about 500 uh, on the AQI index which is extremely hazardous, extremely high. So yeah, keep that in mind that your car could help you breathe better in these harsh times. So with that, I hope you get to uh, have a broader understanding about uh, cabin air filters as well as an AQI sensor and why it's important in today's day and age. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with friends and family. And uh, do leave us a comment in the comment box below and let us know what you thought about this video or if you have any additional inputs you'd like to share with us.